Let's get right into it. I'm going to assume you already know what a null hypothesis is. If not, I'll link a video that explains what that is in the description down below. All right, let's start with definitions. A type 1 error is when you reject a null hypothesis that is actually true. For example, say you're testing whether a new component to a self-driving car reduces the probability of crashing. You can use the null hypothesis that the probability of crashing for the car for the new component is equal to the probability of crashing for the old car. A type 1 error in this case would be rejecting this null hypothesis, including that there's enough statistical evidence to support that the new component reduces crash probability. However, in reality, the new component does not reduce crashes. Next, a type 2 error is when you fail to reject the null hypothesis, but the null hypothesis is actually false. Using the same example, a type 2 error would be failing to reject the null hypothesis, including that there's insufficient evidence to say that the new component reduces crashes. However, the new component actually does reduce crashes. So let's address the elephant in the room. Type 1 and 2 is a terrible naming convention. It'd be like if you want to distinguish between a closed hatch button and an eject button on an aircraft, and you label them button 1 and button 2. Now to fix this problem, it's best to turn to a mnemonic to remember the difference. I like to remember type 2 errors as fail-false errors, because you fail to reject a false null hypothesis. You remember a fail-false error refers to a type 2 error, because it has two Fs to match a type 2 error. You can also try to remember type 1 errors as reject true errors, but it doesn't have the same ring to it. I first just remember that type 2 errors are the opposite of type 1 errors, as in rather than failing to reject a false null hypothesis, you reject a true null hypothesis. I'll leave you with a few final notes. First, the maximum probability of making a type 1 error is equal to the significance level, alpha. Similarly, the maximum probability of making a type 2 error is equal to beta. I won't go into too much detail about beta right now, but it is worth knowing that the power of a significance test is equal to 1 minus beta. Lastly, for which error is worse to make, it really depends on the context of the problem. You might hear the rule of thumb that type 2 errors are better than type 1 errors because you generally are making things worse than they were before, but rules of thumb are only useful if they always get you the right answer or help you approximate the right answer. Not only will this not always get you the right answer, but you can't approximate the answer to a yes or no question. To be safe, write words what a type 1 error and a type 2 error would look like in the context of your problem, and then decide which would be worse. If you're interested in learning more about anything I've said here, I've linked more resources down below. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.